All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over how I'm building my lineups for today on both DraftKings and on FanDuel. Um, so we're going to start with just uh, uploading my custom projections, which uh, which I use. And the first thing I like to do is I want to not click exclude unlisted players, just in case I forgot to project somebody. Then Saberson will kind of pick them up for me, so I'll click save in this way. And then we are going to build uh, 5,000 lineups we're going to build maybe, a we're going to use a couple, like 175 of them, uh, but we're going to build all 5,000. And I, I, unlike a lot of people, I don't mess with this too much. So no change in the min, no change in the max. Um, I could mess around with the entry limit, but again, I'm building 5,000 lineups. I mean, I don't know. I guess I guess if I were more diligent, I would do separate builds for if each contest, but I really don't have that in me. So let's just use 20 max. We'll keep this everything the same. No lineup rules, no nothing yet. Okay, let's just build um, uh, five thousand lineups, and I've done it before. That's why you see some of these already built. But we're going to do it again, and just to kind of flex, uh, we're going to do the same thing on FanDuel while this is all going on. We're flexing for for uh, for uh, Sabersim right now that you can actually do this. So we'll upload the new projections from FanDuel. Again, we're not gonna we're gonna not exclude unlisted players. I don't know what this is still. And then again, same thing. We'll build 160 because that's the total amount we're gonna use. Five thousand. Nothing changes. Okay, I I don't do anything as far as this is concerned. So we're gonna rebuild five thousand, and we're just gonna wait for all these things to kind of happen. And if you want, I can build my tennis and my my League of Legends stuff also. Um. And again, another testament to Sabersim, how quickly this thing blasts away. And what I like to do is I like to look and see what I get before I start simming. Uh, just to kind of see, I don't, you know, again, I don't always use the results of the Sims. I sometimes use the defaults, um, but it just honestly just kind of depends on my mood. Today, we're going to try to be pure. Um so the first thing, I think it's sometimes interesting to know like how these are all being ranked, you know, to, to get in here and, and take a look at the eyeglass and see what these formulas are. You know, it, it's it's nice to see that they are doing 0.7 times the 99th percentile and you are dinging the average adjusted ownership, you know. So it's not like these are playing the optimals. They are good upside lineups. They're just not, you know, tailored to the particular contest or particular fields right but I, I do like to look at what we have here so so without making any changes like 60 percent mats 53 percent white Sox, etc cetera, etc cetera. um and then as far as pitching goes i mean i just like to look you know i presume it's going to be all castillo and lopez yeah pretty much uh 70 30, 57 36 and what i like to do is i do like to mess with the stack exposures Okay, I don't like to play any of the any of the bow wows. You know, I don't like to play four twos, four threes. I'll keep the four fours in, whatever. But I will I will get rid of all this other stuff. Okay, aside from that, there's not that many changes that I make, which is different than maybe a lot of guys that you have in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now we're gonna run the Sims, and I already got these from my contest files here. Um, we're playing, you know, the 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 World Championship, which is this is the thirty six hundred dollar buy in or whatever. And then we also have, ooh, where's the other one? Uh, contests. I think there should be another one. Oh, the qualifier. I didn't do that one yet. All right, let's. So this one, there's not a contest sim there for. So we could actually, we could actually identify that one. Okay, so let's go back. We'll add a contest sim for that one just to kind of see. We're just going to call this the qualifier. And how many people are in that thing? Let's just get back and see. I know they're only paying one spot. So, boy, it doesn't even say. So, you, can, you know what you can do? You can go right through and see what this is. So, it's going to be, oh, it's full. There it is. So, we have 22 entrants basically paying 100%, right? Or 90%. So, we could we could, we could could put that in. Um, payout structure, we'll put in custom. We'll use, I don't know, for this one. It's got to be winner take all, I guess, or high stakes something because it's going to be some good players. How about high stakes high stakes single entry? All right, let's, let's do that one. That's probably a mistake. 
uh, custom, 22 people, 90% to first, right? 10% entries. That seems good. Okay. All these others are fine. And, and we're going to just use the defaults. Well, let's just see. For the, yeah, for the qualifier, we'll use this one. That's fine. For the knuckleball, we'll use the flagship. That's fine. Battery, we'll use the high, the single entry. That looks good to me. The immaculate inning, we'll just go with high stakes MME. That makes sense. Ball four, fine. High stakes 20 max. I just like to double check. And in this 25K home run, high stakes and treasury, that makes, that makes sense too. And the qualifier, we're good. So then we're just going to run. Okay. So we're going to run the Sims. And if I was really in, in full gear, like for MMA, I don't even look and see who we have. Okay. Uh, because if you really trust your process, it shouldn't matter who you come up with. Right. But that's, that's for another, it's for another discussion. So let's just see what we do. Let's just go through this. You know, let's, let's go one at a time. Well, we got to wait for the, I'm going to wait for the knuckleball to kind of show up. Um, okay. So we'll deal with that one first. Knuckleball sort by risk adjusted ROI. Um, and then what I like to do is I do like to do the min uniques thing, but before I do that, I mean, I'll go into team stacks, not, not this, who we have, cause I don't really care, but we're just going to just get rid of these bow wows. I just, maybe it's my OCD or whatever, but I, I'm just, I'm just not a believer that I could, I can pick the correct three, two, two, two or whatever. So I'm just going to do this. Um, and then what I like is the, the, is the advice you guys gave about the, um, uh, about sorting by, well, when you start adding your min uniques to, to, um, uh, average, no, we'll do, uh, no, we're going to go projected score. We'll save the aggregate metrics. Okay, by median projection, just so that when we start screwing around with the min uniques, we don't we don't go too crazy. So let's go min uniques two, and we're just going to take a look at this. Actually, we're not sorting. We don't want to sort. We want the no, we're not sorting the median projected score, right? No, we want the average projected score. We can do that too. Same, pretty much the same one. Save aggregate matrix. Okay. So we'll just keep going here and we'll go min uniques four. And it's not really affecting the average projection too much, right? So we may as well just keep on piling away. Okay, so now it's it's down a little bit. So let's go back to where it didn't didn't take a hit. Um, and we'll go back to the over a hundred. And we're only playing right 150 in this thing. So we should be good to go, right? And again, we don't care who, what stack we're getting. I'm not going to be making any changes because um, we trust our projections. We trust our process and we're just going to blast. So in we go. And the other thing is that we are going to be late swapping several times during the course of tonight. So these are not going to be whatever. And the, the video will pick up on that as well. And we'll just go through, you know, immaculate inning, risk adjusted ROI. We don't have to do min uniques four for that, but, um, but why not, right? So let's just see. Min uniques one, uh, CD roll 98, 98, 98. Yeah, I mean, may as well, as long as it's not dinging me too much, may as well get some diversification in here. Um, let's see. Again, we, all, we only need five lineups for this. Okay, so there you got dinged again, right? So let's go back up to min uniques four. And we're only playing five entries, so it doesn't matter here. So we'll just do this. Macular inning, boom. And then we'll just do this for all of them, you know? And, and this is, unfortunately, I wish it was more, more complicated than this, but this is really the process I have. Um, I, I Most of my work is done in, in, the, in the lead up to this, you know, doing with my projections and things like that. And I've messed around with, you know, just trying to use the same um, settings for, you know, this whole bunch of contests, whatever. But as long as you guys are going to go to the trouble of creating these fields for each contest, I may as well use them, right? Um, and I, listen, I've tried, I've tried everything. You know, I, I tried to use, you know, build one. In other words, to try to sim it against myself. 
But the problem with that, and I think you guys have probably talked about this, is that you uh you want to have some bad lineups also if you're going to recreate a field, right? So if you're going to create like a field of five thousand good lineups, I mean, why bother? You know what I mean? Like, why use why use a whole bunch of good lineups? to represent a field where there's going to be a bunch of bad ones. So that's why I like your, I don't know. Um, I like your guys main, uh, whatchamacallit. I like your main, uh, thing. All right. So we'll use this one as well. Oh, this is different actually. No, this is the same. This is 3470. We'll put this in. And then again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm honestly not looking to see who I have. We'll look, we'll, we'll check later. We'll check during the, uh, during the, the, uh, whatchamacallit. When we check uh, the late swaps, I guess we could check who we have then. But I don't care. I mean, listen, if, if I get 100% of something, I'll get 100% of something. I don't really do, I don't really mess around with my stuff too much. Uh, okay. So now let's go FanDuel. Uh, FanDuel, same thing. We'll upload. Again, we just did a, a. I just did a whole new bunch of projections. So, same process, and I can almost like I, I was gonna say I could almost automate this, but I can't because I don't always leave it alone. Like sometimes I will, like here, like I get this. Oh, see, I screwed up. I didn't put. For some reason, I don't have a projection on Luis Robert. Probably because something with the juniors. I think. Sometimes I mess up with the juniors. So one way to deal with that is just always like at the very least, make sure that you uncheck the uh, the uh, exclude unlisted players. But even so, look at this. I'm, I'm not getting any of, of this, which is very, very odd, right? Why Why would it not override? You know, so we can go through this and mess around a little bit. So we can give ourselves, again, the, the actual projections are not as big of a deal. Jose Ortiz, I don't have one for. So I, I might have to mess around a little bit. This is a little bizarre, right? Like if I don't have a projection on it for some reason, oh, look, because the, they changed the the uh, the Dodgers, uh, whatever. All right, this should This should be at least good enough. Okay. All right. So we uploaded all these and we're just going to, we're going to fire again. So we're going to build, what do we say? 5,000 lineups. We already did that, right? We built it in the background and we don't really care. Actually, we care a little bit. So who would we get? White Sox, Mets, Phillies. Makes sense. And then with pitching, I presume, a lot of Castillo, Lopez. Ooh, some Bassett. That's interesting. So let's uh, take a look at the Sims here. Um, we actually haven't done this yet. So let's go into contests. And let's just right click here. We could add, actually, here's a new feature, right? Add all contest Sims. So I guess now it's adding all four of these to the, uh, to the mix, which is great. Okay, which is terrific. Um, so now we have to get back to Build one. And where are the contest sim settings? Oh, they're right here. Let's just double check, see what we have here. High stakes, single entry, good. The lottery, uh, low stakes, fine. $5 grand slam, keep this. Monster, 555, keep this. High stakes, 20 bucks. No, let's make this, let's make this high stakes MME. I think that's a little more representative. So now we will, before we'll run this, let's again go team stacks. Well, not team stacks. We'll stack exposures. We don't want any, any, well, you know, let's, let's be pure tonight. Let's go only four fours and four threes. And we'll run the contest sims. Boom. And again, we're, we're running these for now. And then as you know, the, the slate goes on, we'll come back and we'll do a, maybe a couple of late swaps. Uh, because again, I'd like to see what I'm doing wrong because there's a couple of questions I actually had about late swapping. All right, so let's see what we have. Uh, right, we got to wait for this to actually populate. 
you want to go monster first? No, let's 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 wait for the for the uh, for the slam. Um, excuse me for the um, grand not grand slam. The um, it's the lottery. The um, the rally to populate. All right, so rally risk adjusted ROI. Uh, and again, same thing. Let's use this aggregate metric. Average uh, projected score. Save. 120. So now again, let's just keep on cranking up the min uniques until the lineups yell at me or I get my first real dip in average projection. That's that's pretty okay. That's that's kind of egregious. Yeah, okay, because so that's the bad one. So let's go back to min uniques four. Make sure again that we don't have too many um like bow wow stacks. So I want to get rid of all these. Boom. And now we just have, right, four fours, four threes. And we should be good to go. So we'll save these into the rally. Again, not caring at all who we have. And you think I'm I'm, I'm crazy, right? Um, this is like the ultimate, like, non-no ball thing. I've just found that my biases, like, affect me more. Oops. Ooh, I did something wrong. See, I misclicked that. So we got to go back. I don't know if you caught that. I, I I put it in the wrong place. So let's go back to, to the rally. And this is what happens when you have to do a zillion things at once. You just can misclick. It just happens. And which is another probably argument for why not looking is not a good idea. All right. Um, but again, I find that my biases like affect me more negatively then my no ball would affect me positively. How about that? So single entry, put this in here. And then monster. And I'm curious to see like well, how I'm butchering this as far as like a process goes from like from you, you guys, you Saberson guys who like have literally created this. So this is, this is what I do. And then down we go. And then... I, I know that I'm I, I do something wrong with the um with the uh with the late swap. So I'm looking forward to continuing this video when we do that. So let's upload the FanDuel lineups. Boom. Edit. And we're good to go. And we don't know who we have and we don't care. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to come in back a little later and do the late swap, and then I probably have to. I'll have to know who we have, and then we'll uh, we'll make changes there. Okay, that's it for now. Hey, so this is uh, part two of the slate construction. We're going to be doing one set of uh, late swaps. It's seven fifty-seven, so there's a little bit of a of a break between um the 745 games like there's a little where are the teams why can't i find the teams right so there is a little bit of a break here we have like 10 minutes so we may as well take advantage of having these these ownership updates and things like that so i think it's very important to do this as many times as humanly possible again it doesn't always work out that way for me uh, anyway i also did a um uh you see by the way this uh notification that I have out players, um, Bry Bryson Stott, maybe among others. So we'll, we'll take care of that with the late swap because we already updated the, um, the projections. So we will, we're going to late swap all these and then let's make sure that we upload the new set of projections. Again, this is like a difference is I, I do use my own stuff. And now we're just going to late swap everything. And this is, again, a Jordan trick. You try to make it as many swaps per lineup as you can. And then we just then we just fly, you know. And again, I, I'm not – I actually did take a little bit of a peek at who we had a little bit. And fortunately, we do have a, a decent amount of Milwaukee, who's extremely low-owned. Um, so – and they're off to a pretty decent start. Uh, maybe later I'll try to butcher – figuring out the live sim stuff 
which by the way, I don't think you can do until everything locks, right? Because you don't know who, who everybody has. So I guess we'd have to wait until after 10 o'clock to get that. And maybe we will. Maybe we'll make it a just this whole video, just kind of like a way to to demonstrate how some good players don't even know how to use this thing properly. Um, especially me, who've been probably been using this longer than everybody. Anyway. All right, so it's building all these lineups. I don't I hope I'm doing this right. I mean, how many pos oh, because there's still like eight games left, so there are plenty of combinations. And again, I'm not really going to do anything different. I'm just going to just rerun everything. And I don't want to get into the, the the math and behind all this, but it's always better to late swap when you have a chance. It's always better to change your lineups when you have a new information. Now, here's the thing. I hope I'm doing this right. I mean, I just want to click on this run sim. The reason why is because it never really tells me who I have or what I'm swapping to, I don't think. Like, I know it's doing it in the background. But it's not. So, like, for example, I'm going to just do everything here. We'll wait for all these things to populate. And then we're going to do the same process before. But it's not really going to show, I don't think, who I actually am swapping to. Unless I'm just looking at it wrong. So you guys can correct me on that as we get to this. So let's, again, let's just wait for the knuckleball first. This way we know we're done. All right, so uh, where's knuckleball? It's not even done yet. There it is, knuckleball, sorry. So risk-adjusted ROI. Um, and at this point, uh, I'm going to abandon the min uniques, I think. Now, let's go back to min uniques three if we can. And then we will put these guys in here. Okay, then we'll go into the immaculate inning. Boom. Okay, see, it's not it's it's showing it here, but it's not like changing on the right. So I'm not really seeing what I'm building. I don't think, which is I guess is sort of a good thing, but I know I'm probably doing something wrong. But all right, the mega qualifier will change that one. I think that might have the Milwaukee, by the way. So I think that looks to be in pretty good shape to start off. Um, is that this, this one? Yeah, the 3470 qualifier. No. No, no, that was, that was a different one. Sorry. Yeah, so we'll, that goes back into this thing. Sorry about that. This one, the Q, right, that's the one that goes into this small one. So we'll change to this. That one goes here. And it's good to see what I'm what I'm missing here. So I'm still missing home run, battery, and ball four. And I wonder if there is a faster way to do all this, but we'll see. Uh, battery. And again, I have four minutes, right? Plenty of time. Ooh, I might not be able to get to FanDuel in time. And then home run. I think the home run were off to a good start there as well, which is nice to see. Home run. You see, it's not really showing me the what I'm what I'm what I'm swapping to over here. I just have to like kind of look and trust it, I guess. Unless there's something I, yet I'm missing. Well, four. And then over here, boom. Let's get these before. So it's 8.02. I think I have time to do fan duel. Let's see. Okay, so that's good. Now let's go to, again, we don't look and see who we have. That's, 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 for, that's for beginners. Uh, 805 uh all these 805 it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one let's see what happens actually so let's go ready all right late swap late swap all four i don't know if it's gonna be able to let's see what happens uh we got we got to upload we got technically two minutes right this 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 is gonna this is gonna be interesting uh let's put these in as much as we can all right, so we still got two minutes. 
Let's see if we can get this all done. I'm watching the clock over here. 803, 803, 803, 803. Oh, they're not, it's not going fast enough for me, I don't think. Let's see. 803. So it's going to be a question of whether I want to actually run the Sims or at least get what I get here. Like what's more important, getting a good late swap or getting a, a one with the actual Sims involved? Oof, it's going to be close. As a matter of fact, I think it's going to solve it for me because I don't think I'm going to get there. So let's count in our heads. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34. Come on, Saber Sim, you're killing me. 33, 32, 31, 30. Not gonna make it. 29. Let's see how many we can make. Well, let's yeah, you know, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna make as many as we can make. And if the late because we're stepping over this 805, um whatchamacallit. Well, let's see what we get. We can always do more after the 810. We are gonna do more before the Colorado game anyway. So let's just see. Let's, you know, let's, you want to do it right or you want to just get them all in? No, let's, let's do it right. And we'll see what happens. See how many we could actually change. Because again, what's going to happen is these 805 games are going to lock before. See, now it's the 805 games have locked. So these, these, um, so these, uh, lineups that we build, I don't know if they're all going to work. Because if they're changing something that is now locked, I mean, I really doubt that these are going to work. But let's just see what happens. So these 805s, if there's anything with that's just like the 810s and on that gets changed, then they'll be able to do it. But I think that we got screwed here. All right, so it should be done. I mean, let's just see what happens. So single decker, single entry. Put it in here. Grand Slam. Actually, Rally first. And then we'll go back to Min Uniques 3, right? Back to Min Uniques 3. And then we'll go Grand Slam. It'll be interesting to see. what actually takes and what doesn't and slam yeah it went it was a little slower than normal today monster and then this Grayson Rodriguez was scratched at the gate by the way I did not see it in time I don't know if anybody saw it in time hopefully not all right so let's Again, I don't want to see what we have yet. Oh, look at that. We're cashing for something. We'll look later. It's plenty of time. Let's see if any of these changed. Let's see. And mm, let's see. Now. Oh, 41. Okay, 41 updated successfully. So what I do have to do, by the way, and this is like a little trick, is because it was only a partial, I want to download this and I have to save this back to saber sim i think so that um so that it knows what it's going to swap next time i i i decide to do it otherwise it's going to presume that everything that i did in saber sim made it but it didn't so we'll update this overwrite this and we're good right up until the colorado so we're going to come back and do the another one just before colorado in probably about you know about an hour and a half or so All right, so I think we should do one more late swap before 840, just because it's the Colorado game. Um, and the Mets are going to be so popular, and Colorado are probably secondarily popular, that I think that we do should just at least try another late swap. And then we'll come back at, not, you know, maybe a little later, 920, to finish it up. Um, but let's go. Uh, let's go. Um, okay, late swap. We'll late swap them all again. And I presume this is what all the good players do, I mean, all night long. Um, I... I mean, I usually don't have all night to do this. Um, I'll do as many as I can, but you know, this is this is actually a really, really big deal to be able to take advantage of knowing the information that's already been released. That being 
certain fantasy points that have already been scored. Look at look at some of these. Like it's taken into account that what these guys have already scored, you know, and what their live ownership is. And and it, it affects how you're supposed to play the rest of the slate. So why not? I mean, why wouldn't you take advantage of this as, as often as you could, you know? So this is where, I mean, unfortunately is a demonstration of how, you know, people who don't do this, I mean, you're really, I don't want to say drawing dead, but you're really seeding quite an advantage to the people that have the, the time and the ability to do this. Um, and to be able to use the SaberSim data to, to rerun everything. So, relatively quickly given the new information uh i mean this is a this is a big advantage and every once in a while sabersim does just kind of slow down like this so in the meanwhile we'll do the same thing with um with uh fanduel so let's uh late swap fanduel we'll late swap them all again And then looks like Saberson's getting a little bit mad at how much work I'm making it do. See, so it's kind of like stalling here. Let's see. Maybe it's got to wait for the DraftKings for this one to finish. I don't know. Fan okay, Fandle's moving now at least. Uh, okay, so build lineups. We do that already? No, I forgot. You know, we built the lineups already, but just just in case we didn't, <laughs> I'm for, I forgot. We'll do this. We got plenty of time. We got like 13 minutes, and this thing is still kind of creeping along, and not exactly inspiring a lot of confidence. So eventually, what I'm probably going to do is, oh, there, I was about to bluff. I was about to say, you know, I'm just going to cancel and go with what we have. Don't know exactly what that will do to the to the ecosystem, so to speak. But okay, so these look to be almost done. I'm glad I left more of the time than like five minutes. And then once again, same thing as before. We'll just fire this contest sim thing. And while that's going, we'll take a look at this, see how this is progressing. Slowly but surely. And for those of you that think, oh, this is a lot of work to do for like a late swap. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's it's not really that hard. All right, so same thing. Let's go. We'll wait for these things to all populate. See, this properly one by one. And this home run, by the way, I think I'm in first place right now. So, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't late swap. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, you're still supposed to keep late swapping. All right, so let's see. Where is the, we'll get to the knuckleball first. As FanDuel is almost, well, you know, let's cheat a little bit. Is FanDuel done? If FanDuel is done, yeah, it's done. So now we can run the sim. As we come back to here, this is already done. So let's go to, all right, uh, knuckleball, risk-adjusted ROI. Same thing. If we can get to three, boom, knuckleball. Now I'd like to be able to, to sim them all and then upload them all to the exact Thing that I need that would be nice this is the five million again, which I'm still doing very pretty well in that one. And then we'll back to this queue down here. This is the one where this is the one we made the custom one we made. Um, satellite to this, and then. Again, this home run is could be uh could be the winner here, but we'll see. Home run. And then how many more do we have? We have the battery in the ball four and the immaculate. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I wish it were a little faster than this. I wish it would remember, you know, I wish I could do all this at once but i guess it's good it gives you the opportunity to to customize it if you want like if in, in case i didn't want this exact setting to go to this exact tournament 
you know, I could change it if I wanted to. Um, do I have everything? No, we're forgetting the battery. The battery. Yeah, so this is not just, uh, DFS is not easy. That's my, that's my lesson here. You, you, it does take some work if you're, go, if you're going to multi-enter okay? and play a late swap sport. <laughs> I mean, I'll do the, uh, just for fun, I'll do the um, LOL build maybe next time. I mean, at the end of the video. Okay, this uh, looks like, oops, DraftKings looks done. Uh, let's go back to FanDuel. Same thing. And we already ran the Sims, I believe. Oh, it's, it's running it right now. Whoa, why is it taking so long? Okay. So again, upper decker. And I think we're doing okay in the monster here, by the way. We'll take a look and see how that works. Uh, rally. Again, we want to make that min uniques three again. Rally, min uniques three. Grand slam. And then monster. And again, so we have a big good start of Willie Adamas. He's the one that you need you're gonna need to win all these tournaments. So he got thirty he has thirty two fantasy points already on DraftKings. And I think we do have him in the monster, which is good. Um see so that's already cashing for I mean that looks pretty good. We'll we'll Mm -hmm. upload file and we're going to get there in plenty of time for the um for the colorado game i don't even know if we have any colorado if you want to know the truth but i don't care we're just doing process we're not, we don't care too much about who we have but just for fun you want to see this okay who do you have in the monster We've got all right this is not a bad not bad right got to get these boston guys go these houston guys going a little bit but we do have Contreras and adamas which is not bad all right, uh, we'll come back one more time a little bit later. All right, this could be the last late swap. Um, we have these 940 games, and we also have this late 1010 10 game. I don't know if we're going to have any open spots after this one. So we might just come in at 1010 10 to reveal, you know, all the SIM ROIs and stuff like that. Um, so let's just do one more. We're doing all right. Um, this home run we're in first place in which is uh, pretty cool. Um, and we got some chalky Mets to fill this out. And we do not have Pablo Lopez in this lineup, which is always really good because Lopez is getting just lit up. Um, okay. So let's just, again, same process. We updated projections, nothing new, really. Um, so we'll go straight back into late swaps. And you might, again, be wondering, what the hell is the difference? What are you doing this again for? And it's, again, because the ownership has, you know, the, we have more information. We now know what the Colorado ownership was. We now have more information on um, on uh, what team, what other players have scored um, and what is needed to fully optimize your lineups. And, again, the more information that you have, the better your decision making is. So we should, you should got to keep on changing, keep on changing, keep on changing until there's nothing left to be done. And again, this is uh, this is something that I would imagine all of the best players do. And I don't consider myself one of the best players, which is why, uh, because I don't do this all the time because I don't have time. But this is really what you need to do in these late swap sports, like it or not. You need to continue to late swap pretty much all night long. If you want to maximize, you know, the, the ROIs of your lineups, that's it. Not that's it, but it, it's really not even debatable. Now, how much of an edge you're giving up by not doing this, that's it's kind of hard to calculate. But um, yeah, so let's, again, we'll cheat a little bit. While this is going on, we'll do the same thing with FanDuel. And we're not doing as well as FanDuel because our Astros stack, which is being paired with the Astros, with the, uh, with the, uh, the Brewers, is not uh, performing as well. It's not performing literally at all. So we'll build this and 
we'll scoot back to that. And then maybe at like 10 o'clock, we'll we'll do the the just a bonus uh, League of Legends build. But again, this is kind of like slowing down because there's it's kind of tough for it to it, for, it's making it difficult for Saber Sim to find combinations at this point because there aren't that many there aren't that many things to swap to, so it's kind of struggling, which is fine. I should probably pause this right, but uh, until then, let's again let's pull up this home run. This is this is the the main tournament which has a shot. You know, we're twenty points up. Here I'm 34 points up on this guy. I mean, I got I got two pitchers. As a matter of fact, I mean, I got to be a pretty big favorite. That's very interesting that I say that because if once all the results are in, I could check the sim results or the you know the live sims, and I can tell that I'm going to be the favorite. But I'd be surprised if they didn't win this tournament. Let's put it that way. All right, let's pull these back up. Oh, we're good. So. Fandor is good, so we will run the Sims for that one. Draft Kings is, ooh, are they done? Yep, looks that way. So we will, they're done. So we'll run the Sims for that one, and we'll see who's done first. Wow, I, I wonder why Fandor was done first this time. Actually, I don't really wonder that. All right, so this is done. Same thing as before. Upper Decker. Change, upper decker, change. And what is this? And, and you, for those of you that haven't figured this out yet, what does this have to do with baseball? Nothing. What does this have to do with knowing baseball? Nothing. I mean, because remember, all the work was done pre-flop. You know, at this point, I don't care what these guys what I think of the players at this point, we're just, we're just, we're just optimizing. And this, and then monster. I really hope the Astros get something going over there. That'd be a good one to get a run in for sure. All right. So FanDuel is done. Let's, let's put that one to bed. Well, I mean, I think, I mean, should we, we probably have to do one more, right? Before the, uh, the Dodger game. Let's see. And if we want to do this right. All right, so FanDuel is done. Come back into DraftKings. That obviously should be done. Oh, the tennis. That was tennis was a train wreck today. By the way, we had a we had someone that get ruled out, which I wasn't expecting. All right. So again, this this may seem uh a lot of legwork to do, but you got to do it. This is going to be this one, which I don't think I'm going to win this one. This is a big buy-in. But I, I have a chance to get the the other satellite. We'll look at that one, actually. Knuckleball. Again, there are not that many changes because we didn't play. We didn't leave that much for these last games. But, listen, as long as we're going to do this, may as well do it right, right? Let's go back to the queue. This is the one that we kind of created on our own, remember? All the way back at the beginning of this. And again, I wish I knew exactly what we were um, swapping to. But I guess we'll just trust it. Battery. And again, home run. I think I think we should be all set in that one. But just again, just to finish the process. Again, I think I don't think we have any open slots there. And that would be nice if it said if there were any open slots. Actually, that'd be interesting. Okay, ball four. But uh, well, that was ooh, that was ball four. Wait a minute, hold on. I want to do this wrong. Uh, we want to put the home run. Put the home run. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference, but we're going to do it right anyway. And then we do the ball four with the ball four. Ball four with the ball four. And then what do we have left? Uh, immaculate, uh, just the immaculate inning, right? 
which is actually struggling. I was hoping to do better in that one. Who are we swapping to? We don't know. Uh, all right, so all these are good. Boom. Boom, boom. And we'll probably, listen, may as well. Well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll do at least one more video part. Maybe we'll go over it, but we may as well check to see if there's any going to be anything left to swap with the Dodgers. So let's just see for a second. Let, let's see these Adamus lineups, which of these are still doing well. Um, yeah, this one, Lopez is just, just got over zero, almost got over zero at least. Terrible. So this one is still actually winning this satellite here. This one is still, com you know, comfortably in first place. Um, and a couple of these, this is the immaculate inning. We obviously are going to need a good, good thing out of Castillo. And this is the monster again. This is really struggling. I mean, look at this Altuve, Bregman, Alvarez, just threes, Diaz. Can't be kidding me. So hopefully they get some miracles in the last couple of innings or something. And then Castillo just kind of mops up. And also we could use Colorado not going off, you know, that Met game. All right, so that's it. I'll probably see you one more time. All right, so you never know. There's 10 minutes to go before the last game locks. I only have a couple of people in that game anyway, but may as well swap that. And this is this is the the GPP that looks like, you know, pretty good shape let's put it that way i mean we're not like a lock or anything like that but um doing pretty well with pitchers going and anyway we'll see what happens but again just to finish off the process let's go back into the uh the builds here um we did the lck build by the way did a separate video for that let's get back to here they only got nine minutes um, let's do FanDuel first. I just have a feeling that there's more possibilities for a swap in FanDuel. So in case we, um, in case we, uh, in case we run out of time, at least we'll have done FanDuel. But let's do both. Why not, right? So let's go back into here. Swap this one as well. Late swap and law. Again, build lineups, get back into FanDuel, build lineups there, right? And there's probably going to be no changes, but as a matter of fact, we don't even have to sim this, right? I'm just for one. It's really like a one for one, not even. So it doesn't really matter. We're just, we're just going to just late swap this regardless of settings. And again, it's... Not perfect, but I think I think we played this slate as perfectly as possible. I mean, given everything that we've had. So we're just going to go with the best remaining player. Actually, you know what? What do we have? Eight minutes left. Let's see. Now let's just let's just fill these in. Now actually, actually, you know what? Let's do FanDuel right. You, know, you never know. I don't think we're gonna have time. And as a matter of fact, it looks like there's very few things we can do on DraftKings. Like, look, I set it to do like a whole bunch of swaps, and it's it's really struggling to get through because I only have like like literally one offs, I think, left to be swapped for. And there's only one game, so. We're really not going to do too much. So, but let's finish this off. Monster, I know that we have no slots available, but we're going to do it anyway. Just again, <laughs> keep the process going. And rally cap. Boom. Grand slam. Boom. And then no. upper decker, boom. Vandal should be done. Let's do that. Six minutes to go, plenty of time. 
And the monster, we're still in the money there, despite how terrible freaking Astros have been. That's annoying. I guess I'll get back to the end of that game. Okay. FanDuel done. Let's make sure. Then let's go back to DraftKings. Um, we're not going to be able to get everything done right, so we're not going to be able to sim all this. So we'll just save all these to the appropriate contests. You know, they're just they're just one offs anyway. Upload these, and that's going to do it. Um, hopefully this. I mean, this is pretty exhaustive. Hope this gave you a look into process of a you know high stakes player, and uh, uh, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.